the beauty of mathematics. Well, just exactly what do I mean by that? Well, we all know about the beautiful people. We probably know more than we need to know. <laughs> but no doubt, as you've walked in a park or you've even walked by on a street, you must have noticed a flower or a tree, especially in the springtime. I live in Washington, D.C., and at this moment, uh, the city is really, truly beautiful. If you look at the shape of the leaves, what you see is how beautifully they are turned out. You see the beauty of the shapes. Well, that beauty is something that you can see with your eye. It can be expressed in some ways in terms of the fact that one part of the flower looks very much like another part. And then, for example, there may be a miniature part of the same plant that looks like the larger part. That gives us a sense of pleasure because it, to us, is beautiful. Well, mathematics, mathematical objects can possess the same kinds of beauty. Often they coincide. The beauty that we see in a flower, in a tree, is often an expression of a mathematical fact, a mathematical theorem. It might have to do with, for example, um, the fact that I can perform various kinds of operations on numbers. And when I perform operations on the numbers, the sequence of numbers form a pattern that might repeat. Or it might be a pattern that, for example, is very, very long and doesn't seem to repeat at all, and then suddenly and unexpectedly it does. And so the beauty of mathematics is very, very much like, and in some sense supersedes, the beauty that we see with our eyes. In that sense, it's similar to music. Music, as we all know, we have a sense of, of, of beauty in music. And of course, this can vary. I mean, culturally, one set of peop people may find a certain type of music very nice, and we don't appreciate it at all. So there, it's much more subjective. But in any sense, the, but in all sense, for all groups, the sense of pleasure in the repetition or in the patterns that we see in notes. That pattern, that sense of pleasure in patterns is what we refer to when we talk about the beauty of mathematics. It involves numbers. Well, music involves notes. Flowers involve what we see, or art involves, again, what we see. Nevertheless, they are different aspects of beauty, they use different objects, but they are beauty nonetheless.